Hey friends, tonight I'm hanging out at World Showcase. I'm gonna meet up with some friends and what better place than the World Showcase at Epcot. I feel like that is the best place to meet up with some friends, make some good memories, and overall just have a good time. So, let's go do this. A couple of things I wanna point out. Number one, they still have the Christmas tree back in the American Pavilion, but not the main tree out front and the art of Disney actually moved over here from out front. Huh, new things I didn't even know. The reason I'm starting out back over here in the American Adventure is because I have a little bit of time before I join up with some friends. So I decided to grab myself a Bud Light and watch the American Adventure. Sounds like a plan. How much more American can you get? Might as well hit the fife and drum to get that good old Bud Light. I like this place. They got some big turkey legs. A look at the actual fife and drum menu and look at this American dream. Frozen Fanta, strawberry, vanilla ice cream, and frozen Fanta blue raspberry slushy. That actually sounds pretty delicious. They also have root beer floats over here. And of course your Bud Lights, your Yingling, your Sam Adams, and a frozen red stag lemonade. Well, I accomplished getting my Bud Light, but I did not accomplish doing the American Adventure because there are no more shows. They're not letting anybody into the show. You can go in and look around. They might be having technical difficulties, I don't know. But I guess I'm gonna have to come back because I've been really wanting to do that. So I'm gonna head back over to Future World and uh, meet up with some friends. I'm so sad that I missed the American Adventure. That is something that I've actually been really wanting to come out and do. But all of a sudden it got really dark out. It got dark real quick. Walking through the France Pavilion and I see the full color portraits over here. But tell me, does that not look like Ron Swanson from Parks and Recreation? Huh. Tonight is another beautiful Epcot night. Like literally not a lot of people here. It's just a real chilled, relaxed atmosphere. And I like that. I like it a lot. The Tinkerbell photo opportunity is really growing a big crowd. I think I'm gonna get in line. I wanna get a picture with Tink. Hey, this is a really cool photo pass opportunity. Tinkerbell and a lantern, dude. I like it, I like this. Oh, I know. The lights and everything always look really awesome too, so I'll let Oh, wow. All right, I'm ready for this. Come on over. Thank you. <laughs> look at this, how cool. The lantern photo opportunities are getting very popular at Disney. You have the one in Morocco, you have the floating lantern over by the Rapunzel bathrooms. Very cool. And I ran into some friends. Look at that. And we're all gonna hang out for the rest of the night. Gonna go to the Epcot experience. Check out Epcot forever. Why am I pointing to the Rose and Crown? I don't know. Let's have fun. So if you don't know, Nick from Magical News Live and then of course you have Sam, Arjons, Donna, and then Meg from... <laughs> Everyone's like, oh hey, it's just in time. But I noticed earlier I didn't say, hey guys, these are my friends and this is who they are. So I wanted to correct that. And now we're gonna head into the Epcot experience. <laughs> I absolutely love it in here. So it's really cool that I get to come and it's actually Meg's first time so I'm excited for her to see it. There we go. The only bad thing about the Epcot experience is how everyone has to crowd in there, right? I know. I know. Yesterday was pretty dead. Oh, hello. Sorry. Part of everything we'll be doing, Disney World, will be 
will be our experimental prototype city of the morning. The man. Always wait for the monorail shot, even if it's on a screen. Where did you go? Instagrammer. Vlogger on that side. This is the quickest way you can check out all of the pavilions at World Showcase. <laughs> How awesome is that? I'm so excited for the Ratatouille ride. Gusto! Oh. <laughs> there he is! Gusto! Oh, I hope we get that sign. Oh, this is my favorite part. I love this part, guys. Nick is a world of knowledge. I gotta tell you that. He told me that there were 30 projectors, 30 projections inside the Epcot experience. 30 projectors, yeah. He knows what he's talking about. <laughs> he even corrected himself because he said he was wrong. There were 38. 38. We got our spot for Epcot Forever. Meg's first time. It I'm is. excited. Oh, yeah, wow. And you know what? Nick's showing the way he picked out the spot. He said Norway's the way to go. <laughs> Since we're waiting for Epcot Forever, I'm going to scoot over to China because I like going into the gift shop area that they have or the store. It's actually really cool and they have interesting stuff. And I just figured it's a good way to burn some time by looking at some cool Chinese gifts. Into the house of good fortune we go. Lots of unique things in here. I like it a lot. Did you guys just hear those birds chirp? It's so quiet in here. Look at these fancy wallets. Are these wallets? What? Are these wallets or handbags? Handbags. Wow, very fancy. Look at all the massage things they have in here too. And check out this contraption. <laughs> Look at these masks. This reminds me of Three Ninjas. You guys remember that movie, The Three Ninjas, The Kids? That was so cool, what a great movie. Something new here that has actually been very popular is the Chinese cotton candy. And here are the hours for it. And we're gonna take a look at some of the things they have to offer. These are the different types of cotton candy they have. They have a Sweetheart one for $7. A butterfly dream, a sunrise star. Wow. Oh, and then they also have a five layered spring fantasy for $16. That's pretty awesome. I think I'm gonna go with the three layer sunrise star. It's $10.50. I don't wanna go too high. $16 is a little expensive, but I don't wanna go too cheap. So we're gonna go in the middle. Oh, I'm excited to see how he makes this. That is so cool. Whoa! 
What? That is amazing. How cool is that? I kind of don't even want to eat this. It is just so beautiful. Look at it. It's huge. Look at the size of my head. Wow. That is such a cool experience just to see them do it. 10 bucks. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think it's worth it? I don't know how it tastes. Like I said, I don't want to, I don't want to eat it. <laughs> I have to get back over to my friends for Epcot Forever, and I don't want to touch this yet because I want them to see it first. I hope it lasts. I don't know how long it stays like this for. Oh no, it's not making it. It's starting to shrink. <laughs> I think the air is hitting it. Oh no. <laughs> there is like nothing left. Craziness, huh? I'm gonna try it now and disintegrate it. It's burnt! Very messy. She likes it. <laughs> Meg likes it. <laughs> I do. <laughs> okay, zoom in. Zoom in. No, we right haven't here. been in the side yet. Uh, I'll give it to you. <laughs> Oh, the zoom button's broken. <laughs> this is the outcome of the cotton candy. Be very careful. The cotton candy was a huge mess and it didn't last long at all. Like, literally, to walk from China to Norway and it literally just like, just like disappeared, trunk down, which is a little shocking. So, if you end up getting that, eat it as soon as possible or you're going to be dealing with a big mess. Oop, and it got really crowded here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get over there. Ooh. Da, 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 da. And Zippity Doo Dad actually joined our little get together here. He's live streaming. I am vlogging his live stream. It's ready.
well, that was really nifty because right after the show, the actual show producers came up to me and we were talking and chit-chatting and I asked what they do with the kites that are left in the water and they told me they go around and pick them up at the end of the night and that's really awesome because I was thinking like, do they just leave the kites there? Huh. See, there they are. Nice work, guys. Yeah. And there it goes, taking the kite away. <laughs> oh, Donna, Arjun, Sam's leaving. Bye, guys. Bye. Nick's leaving. Bye, Nick. <laughs> Anywho, it is extra magic hours from 9 to 11 tonight. And we're going to ride some rides because Zippity Doo Dad is actually a resort guest. But I want to show you the line for Frozen Ever After is going back to China and coming all the way down here and into the showcase building. That is intense. And since Frozen was so backed up, let's go on another boat ride for the Grand Fiesta Tour. Remember me. Though I have to say goodbye, remember me. Why are they always beating on Donald? <laughs> so I'm gonna actually take off, but make sure you check out Zippity Doo Dad. Subscribe to Zippity Doo Dad. Yeah, and Mickey's Magic. And PJ. Zippity Doo Dad's son. Zippity Doo Dad's son. Very cool. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys. Bye. Guys. Bye. And I think that's gonna do it for me. Kind of just a random day, like I said, I came here to hang out with some good friends and make good memories, and I did. You gotta check out everyone's channel. Check out Meg and Mickey's Magic. Check out Nick and Magical News Live. And then also check out Zippity Doo Dad. And hopefully we're gonna hang out again, maybe tomorrow, and I'll join up with the whole Diz and that crew. I'm pretty pumped. So, love the life you live. We'll see you next time. Bye. Someone left their food here. Oh. <laughs>